check. Chickity chickity chur. Alright, yeah. Alright, I, I, I guess I'll just go ahead and tell you. I just. I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is. Alright? Yeah, man. Um. You know. Something happens when a person dies violently. Okay? I'm going to just put it to you quite simply. Yes? Not only is death unnatural, murder is unnatural. Is it not? Well, they say that the first sinful humans killed each other, yes? That was the first death was a murder. <laughs> the very first death in itself was a murder, yes? And those were the, the those were the first those are the uh now imperfect these are imperfect humans, yes, who who murder each other, yes. Well this is after this book was written, okay? Now there were advanced civilizations, far advanced than any civil than all civilizations to follow before this book was written that says this, yes? Okay, now, these particular people, of course, the advanced civilizations, the original people, um, weren't murderers, fam. It wasn't, you know what I mean? We wasn't just busting nuts having babies by accident, okay? So it wasn't too many people. There wasn't all these extra people to have to worry about if we gonna murder or not, okay? For one. Secondly, um, you know, you lived, right? You, you know, life was for living, not for surviving, not for fighting, okay? And you could still fight without murdering a motherfucker, yo. Is another reason. And you could still fight without murdering a motherfucker, yo. The only reason you have to write, you have to murder somebody is because you, because you, because you're anti-life, anti-matter to begin with. You can win a fight without killing, homie. Guns did not even exist until long after this book was written. However, the very book press in itself came after the gun was made. Right? So you had this information circulating amongst these murderers even before they made it readily available to those, of course, they were murdering because they weren't even murdering each other. They was murdering the groups of people that they were then deceiving. I don't want to say deceiving. They were influencing. They were leading, so to speak. They were supposed to be protecting, supposed to be loving them, but they was loving them in their own special way. You know what I mean? In a very nasty, dirty, violent, <laughs> survival type way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, love is love. It is what it is. Um, and I'm sure, you know what I mean, they, they might have murdered some people that they loved. I'm sure. For whatever the fuck reason. It is what it is. And they had guns before they even had books. Before they even had the, the, the printing press, nigga. The, book, the gun existed before the printing press even fucking existed, nigga. Okay? But even before whatever information, they decided to eventually you know, mass produce so as to become common knowledge and common practice and common law there were there was writing being done and even before the writing that was being done there was thinking being done advanced thinking far advanced thinking than any writing can capture or describe to you okay there was singing happening there was music happening there was living happening, not dying, okay? You know what I mean? Who's, you know what I mean? 
In fact, I'm not even going to go, go there, but like I, like I already just said to you, and as I begin this thing, death is unnatural. Even in the book that they wrote, niggas was living 500, 700,000 years in that book, right? Now, why would they write all of that for? That don't even make no sense. I don't even write no sense. The people, are, the, 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 the very people who even wrote it wasn't living 500 years. <laughs> right? Because they would have record of that. They would have a record of the person's birth. You know what I mean? They would be able to dig up his bones and do tests on his DNA if that was the case. Right? So, what I'm saying to you is, though, yeah, man, Um, when a person dies violently, there's something that happens different, okay, than if he would have naturally just passed away as he deserved it, as, it, as he would have deserved to, to have lived his life anyway, right? His mama brought him into the world. Why is anybody else taking him out the world, right? So when a person dies violently, though, um, there's something that happens, right? Scientifically, when a person dies in fear, or a person's life energy is stripped, is uh, snatched, as opposed to naturally dissipates in whatever sort of process, it leaves these remnants. I would say so, right? It leaves these different. You know what I mean? Sporadic little shards that um don't go nowhere except for a particular place. It goes to a particular, you know what I mean? Fucking compartment and shit, right? And what happens is it goes in. It, it it's living through sound and light, basically, and 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 vibrations. You know what I mean? Parts of yourself that didn't you know, d develop all the way, that didn't mature, it's still stuck in the light and in the sound. Um, and what happens is, right, like, um, what you believe and what you entertain, being that the in imagination is so powerful, right? You can have an idea based on these images, like, like all these horror movies and shit, like scary ass, fear inducing sort of, you know what I mean, traumatically, uh, shocking and horrific images as well as ideas like torture pain makes it real in the world of your imagination which is infinite right so where you see yourself you have a self right you have a you have a uh an exalted self right that is that's connected to you as you're here on earth um you have to remember yourself though you know what I'm saying you have to to remember yourself you have to see yourself as yourself sees you and that takes you doing what you came here on earth to do right that that, that exalted self is the destiny is the is the actualization of your destiny because the actualization on de of your destiny is not only here on earth it happens on earth but through it happening on earth it then now connects all of in anywhere beyond time space whatever and that's just the beginning that's just you know what i mean the seed of your soul um, and now if it's uprooted because you're seeing yourself as different you see yourself as a soul that's just got whatever sort of options based on the conditionings that's been happening um, then that makes that a reality it makes it more of a reality than it even actually is but what you believe um, don't matter if it's true or not if you believe it and, and you know what I mean it's true if you believe it even if it's a lie even if it's less than what it, it deserves to be right so our mind 
is the cosmos. Our consciousness is all of space. Yes? That's weird because, of course, you know, a nigga can be in space without you even realizing a nigga in space. You know what I mean? It, it, you ain't ever, even, never been in space. How is your mind space? Well, that's the piece that I put at the back of my uh, of my book, just in case you was wondering. A book of quotes, poetic notes, and harmonic epiphanies. In that piece, I said, if everybody here on Earth left, would the universe still exist? Right? There's been people born. There's always will be someone born. Throughout your entire lifetime, there's going to be people being born. Since you were born until you are not here, or they're consciously breathing, um, there's going to be people other than you alive. Right? But who's to say that that's not all part of, of course, God's plan, and that the very fact that there are anybody even on earth does not affect our perception of what we see the universe to see, to, to be. You know what I mean? Because how would we know if it's anything else? Because we got to see it through our eyes to begin with, as humans and as a collective human race, right? So, I mean, it's just interesting. It's interesting, right? So, it's like, at the same time, though, as far as your mind and your imagination, and that being vast and even more vaster than all of anything that could exist or not exist. Um, and also can affect what already is existing and will exist and has existed. Your imagination, which is connected to your memory, which your memory is alive. And if your memory is alive, that means that even whatever is, is still what it was and what it is going to be. Right? Beyond time, beyond infinity and eternity, which is the memory, the Akashic Records, right? I'd say the Akashic Records is the connection to the very start of everything. Well, and there you have it, it's the key, yes? Your imagination. So your imagination is ultra vast, right? Now, your image of yourself is not based on what you're wearing, okay? or this, what this mirror is showing you. Okay? Imagine you've never seen yourself except for when you went to the river but you gotta you, you don't live except for however far away from the river you live and so you gotta walk to the river and then you gotta get to a still body of water in order to see yourself clearly right you would have a different image of yourself yo you would see yourself based on what you what you do and how you affect other people around you how you affect nature itself you know what I'm saying? You would see yourself based on the occurrences of your everyday process and activities. Like, for instance, if you're outside and you're breathing, the, the, the birds are going to come talk to you. You know what I'm saying? you planting trees. you out here. You know what I'm saying? you you fucking doing Tai Chi. You know what I mean? Doing breath work. To, you know what I'm saying? You might, you know what I mean? A motherfucking lion might come up and sit right next to you and shit. Right? And that's going to you're going to just think of yourself in a particular way and that in itself is going to, you know what I mean, going to shape your vision of yourself. Your idea of yourself is how you see yourself. If you didn't, if there was no outward image so emphasized, the, you know what I mean, the image of yourself would be what you thought of yourself. The idea you have of yourself, the idea you have of yourself would be the image that you have yourself you know what I mean going to shape your vision of yourself your idea of yourself is how you see yourself if you didn't if there was no outward image so emphasized you know what I mean the image of yourself would be what you thought of yourself like when when else would you ever see yourself unless it was somebody a drawing that somebody else did of you you know what I mean? This is before photographs, which, you know what I mean? What, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta understand, photographs is fun or whatever, but... Not really, like... <laughs> Fuck is fun about a photograph, to be honest. Right? Especially if you ain't even there and won't be there to see it for yourself. It's actually not fun. It's only evidence and shit. 
which makes it even less fun, you ask me. So it's like, I ain't got nothing against photographs or whatever, but really, what the f- fuck is the point of a photograph, cuz? Other than to prove some shit, how you want to, it to be able to be proven or whatever. Like, I don't understand, like, what, what, I mean, what, fashion? That's nice, fashion is dope, but at the same time, you had a fashion show, you could see the person wearing whatever it is you would have been able to see in that picture. So you don't need the photograph in order to have fashion popping off. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to really ask yourself, like, the very effect, the very, you know what I'm saying? The impact, the effect of it is not worth the justification for it, like, to be honest. Like, that same photo can be used to, you know what I mean, to to contaminate, to freaking, um, you know what I mean, to, to influence negatively, which influence in itself is... Only got it's got the propensity, the potential to be negative in however it is that you utilize the influence. Right? So what I'm saying is when you when it's like so stationary and, and, and disconnected from the actual person, that you need the person in order to have the photograph on both ends, the person taking the photograph and the person that's being photographed. Is necessary for that photograph, but then once the photograph exists, then neither one of them people is necessary. When they was necessary to begin with, yo. But now they unnecessary. In fact, they are pointedly unnecessary in reference and in direct respects of the item, product, tangible material, object that is that photograph, homie. I mean, where we can connect the dots with photographs, with historic, you know, people pass away, you know what I mean? When they live on, then we can see them. That's dope. That is very beautiful. I like that a lot. However, we could always paint it too. What's the difference between a painting and a photograph? Not very much different between a painting and a photograph, to be honest. It really ain't, you know what I mean? That shit, if you're going to, if you're going to paint it, you might as well just do a photograph, to be honest. Um, What's wrong with a, with a photograph? well um then you have to be able to see yourself outside of yourself it's the only thing is all i'm saying so it's like okay um you have an image of yourself that should expand and that should surpass just what is seen is the part and that's less emphasized that's left you know what I mean um, that's less accepted that's less realized less uh, acknowledged when we have all of these different you know all this imagery we're surrounded by this imagery let alone these different you know contextual sort of treatments uh, that we are bombarded with, you know, that we that surround us every day. We, you know what I mean? From ads to to our choice of entertainment, you know, it's like you can't watch a movie that they ain't make, and they ain't finna make no movie about, you know what I mean? About ballet without it having to have some type of sort of, you know, twist to it or some type of side story that's gotta be that's confrontational or some, you know, it's got a negative connotation or some sort of pain or somebody crying or some shit, going through some hard times and shit like ain't nobody gonna watch no movie about ballet unless they do ballet but ballet is beautiful even if you don't know what ballet is it's like it's all about the art and how you tell the story you know transitions about you know what i mean development regardless you know over a span of periods of time or whatever the points in the story the beginning the middle the end yes developments it's not gotta be traumatic it ain't gotta be horrific or whatever but what I'm saying is right, like our minds is this is this place. It's a place. You know, and, and that's where we see ourselves. You know, and so what we're thinking about is where and as we think more and more every day, if our fucking thoughts don't are not diverse, if they don't change, if they are not, you know what I mean, universal, if they're not you know what I'm saying? abstract thoughts <laughs> then it's like being that your mind is your soul 
your soul now is being colored. You know what I'm saying? You put in, you be clothing your soul basically with this particular outfit, with this particular fashion. When um, it's like you know what I mean, over so many days of your lifetime, that's what it's going to end up being. And you and you only have your lifetime in order to make it what it what what it will end up being. So the more like you, you know what I'm saying, the more times you see yourself, let alone, it, you know what I'm saying, let alone if it's one photograph or different photographs, every time you see that photograph, you literally, like the Native Americans say, capturing your soul, right? To where it's now like you got to fight that, that visual image just to even think of yourself in any other way outside of that. You got to fight that right it's possible but that's that one time you looked at, at that one photo of yourself in any other way when outside you got a whole you know what I mean we got photo albums we got fucking a portfolios full of different images sometimes videos sometimes we're looking at these photos and videos repeatedly let alone other people's photos thinking of ourselves. <laughs> At least uh, some people do. I ain't never looked at another nigga thought of me instead of him or her. Uh, but I don't be looking at photos like that, to be honest. I, you know what I mean? Like, you feel me? If they got a color I like, then it might catch my eye or something. You know what I mean? But other than that, um, I'm still looking at the fashion and how they style is. I'm not looking at them and who they are based on the image that I'm seeing. I'm just looking at... You know what I mean? The art of the composition of the of the actual colors in the particular image that I'm looking at, like, and I'm gonna forget that photo. I'm gonna forget the person in the photo. Now I'm gonna forget the person in the photo. Um, but at the same time, it's like unless they're inviting me to be a part of their soul, then it's like for me to make an imprint on my memory, it's kind of creepy to me. You know what I mean? Like. Of course, they invited me because they allowed a photo to be up, but that's different. It's not you know, you're supposed to be. It's, it's all on how you, how you be examining, shit, examining shit. Like you know what I mean? Like you gotta understand. Like it's deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Like if we already not, you know what I'm saying? Spending time with ourselves and our, you know what I'm saying? Through through thinking. You know what I mean, which is just your your mind is your soul, right? So it's like. How do you get to know your soul? How do you like, you know what I'm saying? How do you get familiar with your own soul other than thinking? <laughs> How do you get familiar with your own soul other than thinking? Right? And if we already not deep thinking, if we're not all if we're already not thinking deeply, more and more and deeper and deeper, my nigga. And we sitting up looking at stationary images of ourselves yo that's just all the much more reversal we need to do in order to return back to the original life the original art quality of style quality of true substance and essence right the idea of something right so it's like that's the whole point, and it's, when it, and it's, and it's deeper, and it's, it's even more involved than just personal, right? Because we have these images of these fucking torturous dungeons and shit, and fucking, you know what I mean? Murderous scenarios and shit to where it's like, you know what I mean? You got to watch your back no matter where you at. Because at any moment, there could be a murderous fucking fiendish lunatic that just will pop up on you. Let alone the fucking a mass shooting might pop out. You might get hit with a stray bullet for somebody that's a racist or some shit, or, or you know what I mean, or religious war or something. <laughs> Whether you're in America or wherever else, you know what I'm saying. You could be in Brazil. They they got drug wars out there. You know what I'm saying. Or you might even get kidnapped or some shit <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> that's all we see on the news, right? So that's in your mind, and that's what you're thinking of, and you connect what's possible to what's possible for you. When there's no limitations to what you can do to begin with. When there's
there's no limitations to what you can do to begin with. Right? So that's in your mind, and that's what you're thinking of, and you connect what's possible to what's possible for you. You know what I mean? We have, we have accepted and adhered to these global sanctions and, you know, and, uh, you know, local as well as domestic limitations and stipulations as far as like what's legal and the process of, of arbitration or whatever, you know what I mean? And, uh, the due process of whatever sort of function or, you know, action corporate action with the wop you know what i mean you can't even incorporate without folks without seven other people right you can't even own nothing of your own without seven other people if you leasing it from a bank that's a corporation okay and it takes seven people to start a corporation okay okay even if you own land it's a company that's that you bought that land from okay and that company had to incorporate with seven other niggas homie minimum homie and those people cannot change otherwise the company will change and every and all of its company's dealings would then be affected to a certain extent i mean there's ways around that but that's as long as you keep that company up and standing and you replace that particular person <laughs> and, and whatever does happen with that company if you're not able to replace that person or even if you do replace a person and whatever dealings is for fall through with that company another company will come take that take take over its, its dealings and its contracts Otherwise, them contracts is, is, is dissolved, homie, with them seven people that, that dispersed, that didn't stay together. Yes? Pictures are not. <laughs> Pictures are not. <laughs> okay? So what I'm saying to you is, they made hell on paper, through drawings, and now through media. They made hell. They made hell and demons. Because the thought of yourself trapped in pain lives beyond your life, my nigga. And that's a demon. You scared you're not going to get into heaven. And you don't know till you get there. So that's confusion. That's uncertainty. That is doubt and worry that you're leaving behind. In the atmosphere, cuz that's hell in itself. That's the, the that is the, the very hell they made. Right? They created it, yo. On purpose. Right? Knowing the power of word, knowing the power of the mind. So that they can have now non-physical entities to turn against actual living human beings my nigga who are not trapped who haven't yet to be convinced past their earthly promise I mean their heavenly promise on earth through earth <laughs> and otherwise nigga without having to say one thing or the next yo is not or is you focus on the wrong thing. Looking at too many photographs. You know what I'm saying? Allowing yourself to be captured in these four corners far too often. You feel me? Because ain't nothing on earth got no, got no edges on it, homie. Got no corners, my nigga. Ain't nothing that's natural got no corners. Okay? You know, vector points, bro not nothing that grow naturally right you got spheres homie and it's all beautiful and it's all got its own image to it and it's all got its own idea to it so i'm just letting you know i'm just letting you know like you gotta understand like they you know what i mean that's what it is that's really you know what i mean and i'm not saying this is hell no life is what you make it that's what i'm saying to you you know what I mean? And it's hard to kind of piece it together and connect the dots, but I think you just might have been able to connect the dots right now, my nigga. Based on what I just said to you. Yes, I would imagine so, because I'm sitting here, it's nothing that I don't realize. But it's like, they feel like if it's possible, then 
it's your fault if you allow it to to conquer you and that's fair play and that's what you call you know what I'm saying all things being fair in love and war you know it's definitely a war but it's definitely all love too because love is is a war and the reward the victory of love is your soul back you know what I'm saying it's freedom <laughs> you feel me must fight for your right to be free. It's freedom. You must fight. You must fight. And the victory of war is, of course, damnation. Damnation. You must fight for your right to be free. You know what I mean? You've been damned to the thought of being conquered of forfeiting basically if you got surrendered and you got forfeiting you know what I mean like surrendering to something that is sovereign surrendering is not the same idea as forfeiting like they say surrender in a war it's really more like forfeiting I wouldn't even use the same word surrendering it's like yeah well, I mean who would want violence you surrender into peace not that person <laughs> So, you know what I mean? That's the whole idea. You surrender into peace. You surrender into life, not to that other person. You forfeited the war. Right? But at the same time, it's not you surrender into that person. Because that person used what? His, his strategy and, but, oh, nigga, brute force, nigga. Tools, weapons, my nigga. Right? Because if, you, if you're fighting fist to fist, then you just lose. You ain't surrendering. You lose the fight. If you want to fight again, you can fight again. You know, war niggas die, my nigga. You surrender into life, bro. Who the fuck want to die because they wrong or they, they having a disagreement? <laughs> we can easily just fight each other. Without weapons, without torture, without, you know what I'm saying, horror, without pictures, nigga. Just... Strength, nigga. Power, nigga. Real power, nigga. Which is inner beauty, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's power. It's inner beauty, bro. And that's what I'm saying to you. You got to think. Like, you got to understand. If you're thinking of yourself as this person walk around with these clothes on, you're always going to be that. You know what I'm saying? The image you have of yourself, you're holding yourself, of yourself. What? Else? How do I see myself? I see myself, nigga. That's some shit that I ain't never even never seen, cause I, 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 that I could never even think of. Nigga. That's why I'm always, you know what I'm saying? I think I see myself as a motherfucking glorious, a new color phoenix, nigga. As as all of the universe, nigga. The universe ain't nothing but, nigga. One of my eyelashes, nigga. <laughs> Is what I see, homie. What you see? What you see? Cause that's who, that's what it's finna be, homie. I mean, thank God, I, you know I mean, I, I praise God that I'm alive in order to still be thinking of more to see, my nigga. Because if I had passed before I could thought of it, I, the idea of myself will be trapped in its limited perspective and able to be conjured through other active imaginations. Even down to scientifically and mathematically in a tangible form because it's just that real and it's just that powerful. You know what I mean? And, it, and the signature of it is just that you know, detectable and approachable as well as accessible and activating or activatable in every fucking propensity that you could relate it to, that you, you know what I'm saying, pursue it with. You know what I'm saying? Just like they take and make a cell phone work where you can then do telepathy through a device when you don't need a, a device to to make a phone call in your mind. You can call whoever you're thinking of and they can hear what you're saying without a, without a cell phone. But they took that technology 
through literal minerals from the from the Congo, from the very jungle itself. And whatever they did, they made, you know what I'm saying? They made a little mathematical, you know what I'm saying? The, the people who made the chips know what they did, even if they don't know what they did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's based on the brain. And I, I guarantee you the mechanism is likened behind or fashioned behind the organism that makes it just, just that much more possible and powerful because then, no, then now nobody can't tap into it. Nobody can't tap that your voice hitting somebody else's ear. They can... But that would take them being able to be real. You feel me? First, they're not going to be able to take that shortcut through this technology, my nigga. They would have to actually harmonize. Like the very scientists, original scientists and alchemists and exorcists did in order for them to even get the information nigga that led them to this sneaky ass shit they doing cheating taking shortcuts good to the black to the dark matter nigga so as to call these forces homie right so yeah it's a war for sure man star wars even right and that's really really it's really as raw that's as raw as it's getting you know and, and what they trying to what they want to do what they trying to do is elongate it they trying to stretch it out to where now it's like in between like you don't really know you you caught wind of some shit that made it to where now like your your thoughts was opened up kind of to where now you thinking of yourself in these sort of contexts that all your ancestors well most not all of them but all the ones after this book was made <laughs> was thinking of themselves and they really at the you know what i mean they really like in the in the in the basement they're really in a in the marble they are in a uh you know in a cabinet basically and it's like the door of the cabinet is then kind of propped open a little bit creaked open to a certain so you can get a slither of light in the cabinet now because okay you know about because telepathy finna be possible nigga they finna be you know what i'm saying they, you finna niggas gonna just start tapping into telepathy because it's happening mechanically to where it's gonna be returned to it's then happening clairvoyantly again it's already happening now we just don't you know what i'm saying we just too focused on looking at the exterior images of things i think you know what i mean look i'm gonna tell you right now i know this girl i did telepathy with she still ain't tell me she remember or not i'm about to ask her again because she didn't but then i didn't i didn't send the wrong message again now i just sent her a message telling her something wrong and inappropriate and if she respond to me then i'm gonna remember that i need to keep that out of the conversation until she answered me if she remembered telepathy or not and then when she said yes she do then i could just say whatever it is and then take a risk of losing her you know her attention or her contact as a friend because i didn't say something perverted because i'm a pervert but she liked my perversion and i know she liked my perversion and if she act like she don't then she's just running but at the same time i can just wait until she you know what i mean until it's not a risk that i'm taking but i you know fuck it i'm gonna fuck they be wanting you to take a risk on losing them just to see how much it matter to you you know what i mean because see that they need to be able to depend on you handling that business regardless of whatever switches and you know what i mean and twist the twist they do you know whatever type of position they take on it you know what i mean they might get the feeling it real good and it could go beyond just you it's about that thing <laughs> and, and they, they can't help what happens to be that about that thing because they surrounded by you know all of these different you know what i'm saying material things going on and it's like hey that's what we got each other for that love i remember one time we had the telepathy even by accident Right now, I remember how we got to there, you know what I mean? And it's like, that's what I'm telling you, that's what I even talked to you about. It's like, the whole world, my nigga, is afraid, yo. The only image they can have of themselves, right? Which they can have other images, but why would they ever think of anything else? Like, it's like, we trust life. Not to be so suspicious of what we really should not even be accepting unless we was subconsciously suspicious about it. You feel me? Like you do stuff just to make sure it is what it can't be. Which is stupid because 
like I said, what you what you entertain as reality it makes it just that much more real. And it's just this much more proving you have to do which we supposed to be eternal. So, you know, it's understandable that you would expect to have the time to prove it even though you're making it more true and it takes it longer to prove that it ain't real. Eventually, you know, after lifetimes and lifetimes and, I, you know, improper ideas and us being limited in our perceptions, it, it'd be revealed. However, they, you know what I mean? That's the trick that's being played too by the ones that first presented this completely backwards ass shit on purpose. On purpose. Right? Just to fuck with you. Just to fuck with themselves. Because they're not different from us. But honestly, I'm going to tell you like this too, though. Um, whatever aliens is, it's not no different from us either. Right? I'm going to let you know right now, like, if the past is the future, and the future is the past because all is the infinite and the eternity is an instance, then the earth wasn't always here and won't always be here. And whatever does happen, even with this technology, and that's why I feel like this technology shit is inevitable. Right? Or not. It may not even be this way. This may not even be the method that it ends up going. Right? Because there's spaceships that exist. There's spaceships on in the hieroglyphics right now. You know what I'm saying? They got spaceships depicted on the hieroglyphics, my nigga. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't go the way that it's seeming to go and through technology on Earth and then that evolves and mutates into whatever else uh, over time, over eons and millennia and we actually do go into space travel and we unlock this uh, these new possibilities that make it to where now we're traversing through time and we end up being the aliens that come back in time to meet ourselves to make us even go to what we end up being <laughs> that's what I also see in my mind <laughs> there's also something I think about it's either going to be that or whatever else you know what I'm saying like we can even get to the point to where we're this advanced sort of species of organism whether on earth or not through just the technology of our mind and our souls. Also, the both can be happening. I believe the both will be happening. Either way. Um, and so that's what I'm saying. Like we have those that went that that came back in time and did whatever they did to start this this domino effect. In, you know what I mean? In this rotation, in this uh, circuit, this uh, circulation, and where it's leading to now. Anti, anti creation, anti matter type shit. Anti matter focus. To where now they don't need to be calm. They don't have to wait. And so it's like, and that's another thing too that I feel like, no, it's actually not natural because the natural way is infinitely instant. and not just trying to microwave sort of materialize the you know what I'm saying the effects of things and so that's why I'm like okay wait nah yo this is not this is improper this is this is backwards because there's a way you can do all of this without metal without plasma without cyber and that I know deep in my, I know that in my soul Right? It would just take you having the time, taking the time instead of the time you spend in doing otherwise. Right? And I mean, it, you gotta ignore all these images you surrounded with. You, you gotta, you can't even open your eyes until it's safe, nigga, at this point. Because they didn't put reflective mirror images on everything now to where you have to see yourself. Not like it's bad to see yourself because you can always just decide to, you know make the effort to focus on whatever else but that's just that extra effort and it also and you ain't alone on this planet right there's other there's mad people and you, it's crowds of people everywhere you at and they looking at you if you ain't fucking under trance they want to try to make an issue of the shit like it's nothing you can do about it because you know what i mean you got to go through the police and you got to go through these the conditioned sort of options and shit as if Every thought you ever had of yourself is not alive in the ethers, cuz. 
And you don't know what I think of myself. You just hope that I think less of myself like you do. Of yourself or of me. And that ain't the case. <laughs> I don't think too much of myself, but I don't, it ain't no, there's no, you know what I'm saying? There's no capacity when it comes to the context of the thoughts that I have of myself, which, what is myself, nigga? <laughs> what is myself, nigga? There's something you want to try to say about me? Sure. I got these rhymes, nigga, that might, you know what I'm saying? And it, it fucking blow your mind. <laughs> as long as you sit here and listen to these raps I got, nigga, you ain't got to worry about all that extra dumbass re reverse ass thinking you're doing, nigga. <laughs> I could tell you that much, nigga. <laughs> I mean, you keep that reflective surface away the fuck from, from you on my way to the fucking to the middle of this nature, nigga, so I can meditate, nigga, so that you ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, be enslaved by this cyber fucking agenda, nigga. How about that? Weirdo. Fuck out my face. Scared of cat. <laughs>